Good morning. You're listening to the Mutual Audio Network. And now, preview time. When it comes to entertainment, you can't beat a good film. So let's take a look at what's coming your way. This coach is bound for a terrifying destination. Dead. But no corpse can remain at peace in this village of the undead, this land of the zombies. Place no one is safe. No one can hide from witchcraft, superstition, and fear. Even Sir James Forbes, the clear headed man of science, was forced to accept the horrifying facts. Young Martinus also says that he saw something on the moors, something that he insists was his brother. But we know that his brother is dead. We also know that he is not lying in his coffin. Someone in this village is practicing witchcraft. That corpse wandering on the moors is an undead zombie. A place dominated by men without morals, whose bloodlusts are excited by hunting a human quarry. When Sylvia Forbes hated the young squire, it was dangerous. But when she fell in love with him, it was lethal. by the Mutual Toy Company. A lovely little hat. I made it by myself. A colorful place. Now I made it by myself. A purse for mom, a scarf for dad, even a pocketbook. How do you make them just look? With Easy Weaver, the real hand loom by Mutual. You can weave all kinds of things. Look how easy it is. This shuttle holds the yarn. You guide it through the string. Then tap it with the comb. To make sure the weave is tight. This is your newsreel for Monday matinee, August 31st. And we begin our matinee with our continuation of season 11 of the Sonic Society in episode 470, Cutting Pulp. Pete Lutz from Narada Radio Company brings us an episode from season 3 of Poultry Theater with his original play, The Time Cutter. This week, it's time for sci-fi audio drama... Next on our lineup is a continuing drama series from J.B. Torres, The Rise of King Silas. In episode 27, De Facto King, tensions build as America suffers its first major defeat at the hands of unknown flying machines and advanced weapons. Silas leaves Lord Oreb in charge of the kingdom when he decides to go on a 40-day soul-searching excursion into the desert. With Queen Rebecca as his proxy and the High Council, what will happen to the kingdom while he's away? And we bring our Monday matinee to a close with the first episode of a new series, Fifty Shades of Dave. Opening with those in glass houses, we're told the story of Dave as allegory for a brutally honest expose of the perception of male mental health in the present day north of England. It's based on the actual life events of writer David Lee, so get ready for a blend of risque, tongue-in-cheek humor, and gut-wrenching drama and heartbreak. This is Federal Stone Cyber speaking, and that's the news for Monday Matinee, brought to you by the Mutual Toy Company. Then to and fro, through the strings you go, and when you're done, then you can say, I made it by myself, with easy weaver. The real hand loom by Marks. 
comes with shuttles, needles, string, instructions, and 400 feet of Bernath yarn to get you started. Make a hat, a scarf, a purse, a rug, even a pocketbook. All kinds of things. With Easy Weaver. Easy Weaver. By Mutual. I gotta get one, too. And now, on with the show. <laughs> <laughs> 